In these turbulent times, more than 200 million listeners have turned to a Minnesota man for a sense of calm and peace. In tonight's Weekend Journal, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield of CBS station WCCO shows us how a pandemic project became a divine success. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The story of this pious man started in Brainerd, Minnesota, in a pretty unpious way. I did not like going to Mass. I would say I hated going to Mass. We'll say it like that. He had a pretty typical Midwestern Catholic upbringing, but becoming a priest took some self-convincing. Uh, you know, as priests don't get married, it was one of those like, oh, shoot, what, what do I do? He decided to go all in. He lives on campus and leads the Catholic ministry at the University of Minnesota Duluth. I have to say that ever since I've been ordained, which is almost 20 years now, I don't think there's been more than five minutes that I've been lonely. But he has been busy. Because and then when the stress of the pandemic hit in 2020, he felt it was time for a new project. And so then I was like, OK, here's what we need to do. I want to read the Bible every day and make a podcast. He did just that. Hi, I'm Father Mike Schmitz, and you're listening to the Bible in a Year podcast. And what happened next, he nor anyone else could have ever imagined. Going from Genesis to Revelation, you don't get the story. You have to read the Bible in a certain order. Bible scholar Jeff Cavins joined Father Mike to break the complicated book into daily podcasts, each about 22 minutes long, with readings, prayers, and reflections. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. My producer called and said, you're number one in the country. And I said, number one what? Joe Rogan, Ben Shapiro, you're number one in the country. And I am like, it's two guys from Minnesota reading the Bible. And it rose to number one. Who could have thunk it? We were shocked. They have 238 million downloads and counting, landing this billboard in Times Square. They have listeners of other faiths, and they have atheist followers, too, from around the world. Are you surprised so many people are so interested in hearing the Bible every day of the year? So that doesn't surprise me. What surprised me was that it was the one that I did <laughs> that was um, helpful or successful in this particular way. But he says he's not to credit. He's just passing the peace. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, CBS News, Duluth, Minnesota.